you happen to be on the number 38 from Victoria to Clapton Pond in East London with conductor Duke Basie. Duke's been entertaining his passengers with Motown hits for years, but now he's got a hit of his own, number one in the South African charts. Here's James Westhead. <laughs> He may be number one in South Africa, but Duke Basie prefers the number 38 in Clapton. Do you love me? Thank you, thank you. Do you love me? The singing conductor's been serenading passengers on the route from Victoria for five years. I wanna hold you so tight. Now, instead of a bus fare, he's got a ticket to fame with a number one hit in South Africa. When he heard, he couldn't believe it. The first time I heard was somebody actually travelling on my bus. And they said to me, um, because you got number one in South Africa. So I says, don't be silly. And he only wanted to go one stop to Green Park and he came all the way down to Captain Pond. And then he went back to Green Park again. <laughs> Sugar Sugar shot into the charts in December on his own label appropriately named Double Decker. But he's no intention of giving up his day job to the relief of customers and colleagues he entertains. He's got um, something about him, you know, he's just full of fun, got a good voice. He needs me back in him. <laughs> no, he's great. He's really good. And passengers don't mind. They love him. They love him. Yeah, do a few more about him, you know. You do have the one and two who's going to tell you to shut up. Yeah. But the majority of people like him, they, they'll even join in. Duke keeps in touch with his record company by mobile phone. His new single called Moving is due out here next month. And this summer he's touring Europe. But ever modest, he says he's not starstruck and plans to come back to his real job on the buses. Number 38 from Victoria, the right bus to be on.